up boys, Adrian Nickelodeon coming at you from Sydney, Australia and I just want to say a big thank you to Solid GPS for keeping my bike nice and safe. <coughs> oh. Boy, that was a rough ride. Here it is boys, the Solid GPS app tells you exactly where your bike is. We've got battery status, whether the unit is moving or not. We've got emergency mode, which updates the tracking every 30 seconds. Or we've got watchdog mode, which lets you know if your bike has moved a certain radius after you've parked it. Full tracking history with coordinates. Everything's on here, it's all set up. Boys, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know I had my R1 stolen back in the day. And the only reason I got it back is because I had a GPS tracker on there. So again, thanks Solid. GPS. You guys are doing a sick job. It's a wireless tracker. It's about the size of a credit card and it's hidden in this bike somewhere. Nice and discreet. So even if you unplug the battery, the tracker will still be sending coordinates to your phone. But let's talk about something else that's credit card sized. The Ridge Wallet, which might be the last wallet you'll ever need. Let's get back on the bike. Sheesh! How many of you boys still rock one of those old billfold leather chunky AF wallets. I remember back when I was like 16 in high school I went to the surf shop and I bought my very first billabong the very first wallet I ever bought was like this billabong cloth wallet because I couldn't afford the leather one but it was sick right loved it I had that little chain on it that used to hang out in my pants back in the 90s that was the look boys times have changed big time While the technology has changed, time to join us, boys. Full pelt in the twisties while I'm getting a video done for you guys. Come on. Come on boys, that deserves a like. One thing that did change though, back in the day when I was a young pup, was that I became a full-time motorcycle rider and carrying around a big chunky leather or cloth wallet with heaps of bills and heaps of receipts stuffed in there. Just carrying around just a whole bunch of crap was even harder and harder to do because I didn't have much space on a motorcycle, obviously. I remember I used to stuff my wallet underneath the pillion seat of my Yamaha R1 back in the day and then had no room to carry anything else. So, what did I do? So my solution back in the day was to switch to a simple money clip. I had some janky one and then my mate bought me another janky one but it had a mad like little inscription on it that said happy birthday Adrian. Boys, I've had that and I've rocked that for the last... I'm not going to say how many years but I've rocked that since I was 21 years old. That's a long freaking time, man. Lots has changed over the past 15, 20 years, including, unfortunately, digital theft being on the rise, being able to skim cards through your pocket without you even knowing. Huge issue, boys. So, we have a solution. We have a product here. Jesus. Should I pick these things up? Remember that last video I was here? I don't know if they're blown over or if they're supposed to be like that. Look at that, you can see the flood water came up high enough to throw a whole bunch of grass on the fence over there. All right boys, you know where we are, our favorite spot. We found a new bench to do some of these reviews at. You would not believe how hard it is to find a, like a bench with a table to sit at in Sydney. It's ridiculous. It's like the government don't want you to sit down and relax and maybe have some lunch, have some food on a park bench. There's plenty of those like regular seats everywhere, but nothing that you can actually put something in front of you. It's crazy. All right, boys, let's see what's in our little bag of goodies, shall we? Got a couple of wallets here from Ridge. Thank you, Ridge, for sending these over to show to the guys on the channel. Got my old Billabong fake leather wallet, which was one of the wallets that I bought over the years. So here it is, boys. This here is your solution to carrying around a thick, bulky wallet while you're on the motorcycle. Now, let's do a quick unboxing. They've sent me some other ones, so let's have a quick look. So that one there, that was the... This is the Burnt Titanium. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this one, but... Let's get it into the light. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this, but after receiving these wallets, this one here, I think is my favorite. Now boys, this is a minimalist wallet. They're not cheap. I think these are really for guys that want something to, that just that just gives them the fizz, something nice. Walk into the boardroom and put your phone down and then pull your wallet out and chuck that on top and then just 
Just look at it. It just looks nice. Definitely a conversation starter if you're out and about with your mates. All right, let's have a look and see what they've sent me. So we've got the burnt titanium. They sent me a regular titanium. Let's clean that up. So this here is the regular titanium and this has the cash strap. They've got two options for the wallets. They've got the money clip or the cash strap. I'm not sure which one I like the most just yet. I'm trying out the money clip at the moment because that's what I'm used to. But the cash strap, it's pretty interesting. Pull this up and chuck your cash in there, but it's got some little, I guess, traction dots on the bottom so your money doesn't slip out. Again, I'm not sure what I'm gonna like. Easy to get the cards out, just pull the card out, fan them open. I might spin one of those around just so it makes it a little bit easier. But you push on that little detent just there, you fan your cards out and then you choose the one that you want Boop, use it chuck it back into the wallet wham bam thank you ma'am straight into your pocket fit and finish on these things friggin incredible man lifetime warranty over 40,000 five star reviews of the ridge wallet let's check out the other one that they've sent me as well so this one here is the forged carbon i believe it's a whole bunch of it's not the traditional sort of carbon fiber look at that oh look at that in the light it's not the traditional carbon fiber weave it's a forged carbon little pieces of carbon fiber laid down in a quite erratic sort of pattern this one here has the money clip on it. I'll show you how the money clip works. So this is the way I use it. I usually grab it in one hand and you can use your index finger here just to pull the money clip open, just like that. Pull the money out, do what you need to do. Chuck it back in there. Or if you don't want to bend the clip out, you could just pull the money out. But it is quite, it is quite tight, if I'm honest. I feel like it will loosen up over time. Not sure if it's designed that way but that's how I use it. Again, easy to get the cards out. Mrs. Nickelodeon and I, we had a bit of a play with this thing the other day and jumped on the website and they say that they can hold 12 cards within this wallet. As you can see, they've got a stretchy sort of elastic on the side, lifetime warranty, including the elastic. So if you've got any issues, shoot Ridge a quick email and they'll get you sorted out. But there's some other features with this as well. It's a modular wallet. So if you don't like the cash strap, you could always switch it over to the money clip. It's as simple as grabbing this Torx screwdriver that's included with the wallet undoing the screws changing the strap or the money clip to whatever configuration you want again it's got screws on the front as well if for whatever reason you need to change the elastic on the wallet it's built pretty mad and one other thing i have watched a whole bunch of reviews on this thing one other thing that they've got in this wallet is this internal material in here i'm not sure what it is obviously there's aluminium plates in here for the rfid blocking technology but whatever it is it's super nano smooth like it is just it is buttery smooth whatever that is so the cards slide in and out quite nicely now you're not going to pick this up on the gopro but i'll get some macro shots in with my phone here there's a little v cut out in here so that if you wanted to chuck your card in there it slides in quite easily without getting caught up on the casing of the wallet so again the little v groove directs the cards in there nice and easy easy to use easy to fan out your cards pick whatever you want now if you're running 12 cards in these things or if you're running a whole bunch of cards in these things they do recommend putting your most frequently used cards on either the front or the back because they're easier to access but yeah i dig it man i'm going to stop this video here i'm going to trial this one for a couple of weeks and come back to you and let you guys know how i'm going with it all right we'll see you in a few weeks